Now a shot, they score. The Sea Dogs with a quick strike here on the power plays. Thomas Sherba comes racing in down that left wing, and he's going to whistle one past Milner, and the Sea Dogs lead 1 0. Almost seemed to catch Milner off guard a little bit with that shot went. He didn't look quite set, and, uh, and it beats him low as the Sea Dogs get on the board. Going to be sent up ahead now as Buckaro comes in. He'll shoot and score. Salvatore Buccaro. Short handed in the Sea Dogs up 2 0 here in this first period. Yeah, short handed goal. Jack Martin just whiffing on that one at the blue line as he tries to hold it in. And uh, Bucaro was you know, already full stride on the, on the way to neutralize to pick up the puck and, and beat Milner cleanly on the shot. And I know we are struggling with that last name. We we'll get it right one of these times. We may have just said it three separate <laughs> ways in the span of about 15 seconds. Touché. Right circle, chance there for Catafor, he scores. That's you, Catafor at the side of the net. He'll knock one home on the power play, and the Moose Sheds back within one. That's what he does. He can make things happen, and Fournier with a beautiful assist there. And Catafor, like I said, bigger, stronger. You could see him fight off the stick of the defender to shovel in. He was determined to get that one into the net. Yeah, Bilodeau trying to tie him up there at the side of the net, but... He said, Catafor a little stronger. We saw that we saw him get stronger, I think, during the season last year. He, yeah. he put on some he put on some size during the year, and by the end of the season, just I so little dumb. turnover there. Catafor let a shot go, loose puck. And that was just sitting there, but perhaps Olivier Bredeau, uh well, saved uh, by the bell action. Yeah, indeed. Things a little testy here at the end. Davis right in the middle of this right now is He's all tangled up there with Cornwallier. The officials need to separate these guys. As you said, Davis has been battling for that, that spot here on this team. Again, looking to solidify his place. Yeah, he's going to show his leadership here and, and prove what he can bring to the team. And, uh, and he's been known to do that over the past uh, couple of years with the Mooseheads and his tenure with the team. Uh, he's uh, well-loved in the room. and. You know, uh, a great a great leader, but uh, he knows he's in a battle right now. So a 2-1 hockey game here. It's your 20 minutes of play. The Sea Dogs on top. Thomas Sherba with the first goal of the contest. That one came at 11-16, a power play marker. Jacob Beaulieu with the lone assist on that one. And then Salvatore Bucaro with a short-handed marker to make it 2-0 for St. John. His first of the preseason. Sherba and Ian Dickey with helpers on that Not one at all. It's Fontaine. Back the other way. Great pass. They score. Reese Peitch takes the nifty feed, and he's going to tie it up at two. And his parents are right in front of us here in the front row. You can see the arms go up. That's his second goal in as many games as the second-round pick from the Cole Harbor Wolfpack continues to state his case for a spot on this team. Well, Fontaine with a great pass great there. And a nice job by Welsh as well to get that puck to Fontaine. And Fontaine, who's had a pretty strong camp himself. And a great setup. Still with a great pass to Catafor, a shot of Bredeau. And he'll shut the door right there as Crosby with a little more razzle-dazzle. A little razzle-dazzle is right, and Catafor looks skyward after he doesn't score on that goal. It was, uh, you know, a blind shot through the defender. He thought he had his second of the night. Uh, he should have three right now yeah. after that last chance. What a stop from Bredeau back in the second period. This was intended for Bilodeau. Couldn't quite handle it. Oh, a shot. They score. Logan Crosby capitalizes. He'll rip that one past Bredeau. And the Mooseheads for the first time tonight on top, three to two. The hot streak continues for Logan Crosby, set up by a nice hit along the boards by Matthew Catafor, and pokes the puck out to a waiting Logan Crosby who jumps on that one like hot knife through butter. I don't know if that jumps on anything, but <laughs> it's a bad expression. Hey, we're <laughs> expecting some big things. So. Possession now. Great pass. Big stop by Rousseau. Getting across to make that save. And that might be 
the loudest this place has been all night. What a good cheer. Yeah, people on their feet. I see some high fives going on that gets the players, you know, clapping the Shot sticks. Shot there from Burbage. Martin will try to eat up the remainder of this game, and he will. The Mooseheads hang on. Late push from the Sea Dogs with the empty net, but Halifax takes it 3-2, to two, and the Moose will improve to 2-1 and one here in the preseason. That's right, Gareth, and they will be back for one final home game. It's a little while from now, though. It's uh, at the RBC Center here in Dartmouth on September the 16th. They take on the Cape Breton Eagles once again. But Logan Crosby, another standout game for him. <laughs> 